Hi guys, it's Minx here. Hope you're doing well and welcome to another video. Today we're playing Desolate Village. This is an indie horror game currently available on Itch.io. Let's play, shall we? And see what it is. One, this game contains some graphics that may disturb some. Well, you know, I'm often scared by graphics. They can be very spooky and booky and uh, generally just terrify the shit out of you. But hopefully this I won't be too scared this time. This game is a work of fiction, any resemblance is coincidence. Also, the game was made in a short period of time for the Pixel Horror Jam 2016. There's quite a lot of these on Game Jolt at the moment, and some of these on Game Jolt on Itch.io. And uh, some of them are really good. I've been streaming a few of them, so um, this should hopefully be a pretty good game. I hope you enjoy the game. Thank you. Have you heard of the rumours that everyone's talking about lately? You haven't heard of it? Well, it's actually an urban legend, but some say it's a rumour, while others say it's just a myth. But it's really popular, so I'm surprised that you have not heard of it. Well, since you have not heard of it, I'll tell you. The rumour goes that there are... blank, who target people, and they blank. We're gonna get blanked. The rumour has many different versions of itself. Some say that they blank blank. Others say they blank blank and make you wish that you were blank. Presumably that's dead. But the most popular version of the rumour is that they... Well, you definitely don't want that happening to you guys. I'm speaking from personal experience. You definitely don't want that happening to you. Some people believe that's why there are a lot of missing people lately. Because... <laughs> that is some disgusting shit. I don't think I've seen something quite so disturbing as that on my screen. Come on, Zoe. You scared the life out of him. Wow, huh? I actually scared him, Lily. It's just a rumor. Most of them are not even true. So you don't have to be scared. Great, why are you looking at me like that? Zoe, you know he can't handle scary things like you. You're getting on me too? Gray and Lily are double teaming. I can't believe you two would do something like that to me. Okay. Stop looking at me like that. I'll do it. I'm sorry for scaring you, Alex. It's okay, this story really did not. Was that all just a dream? No, it wasn't. This isn't my room. Or any other place I know. Where am I? This is a bit weird. Sitting around won't help me figure out where I am. I have to explore to figure out where I am. Well. So we're Alex, I guess? And we have a huge head? A wooden desk seeking for more items to be placed on top of it. If I don't have to, if I don't place items there, that is one of the weirdest bits of dialogue I've ever seen. I'm assuming English isn't the first language of the person who made this game. Just some ordinary old closets that don't need a huge description. Where am I? Pretty nice place, just some berries on a bush. Oh, hi! This is like Animal Crossing, this is gonna be lovely. Oh, you're awake! That's good! Huh? Why do you look terrified like you saw a ghost or something? A talking cat? Because cats don't talk, and they're not the size of humans. This isn't a dream. Yeah, right, and next you're gonna tell me I have to save a village from a monster. I'm not joking, you're awake, Alex. Why do you know my name? Even if this isn't a dream, how do you know my name? I never told you. Wow, you really are very forgetful, aren't you, Alex? You don't remember me, Kitty? You moved in like a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Yeah, look, you could ask the others. The others? Wow, you really are forgetful, Alex. It's like you hit your head on something. Should I really trust her? Maybe we should walk around. I oh, know, let's go see Mr. Rabbit. He may have something to refresh your memory. Uh, okay. So this is like a nightmare version of Animal Crossing, perhaps? This is Squeak's house. We need to go to Rabbit's shop. Rabbit, scary looking. Oh, how can I help you two today? Rabbit, we have an emergency. I don't think it's an emergency. Yeah, 
It is an emergency. What is the emergency, Miss Kitty? Poor Alex does not remember anything. I was hoping you could help him. You're seriously crying over something I may or may not have? This may actually be a problem. A, a problem? Yes, a problem. Because you don't remember anything. You have no memory of the past few weeks you were here. I know, it's sad, isn't it? They're all fucking crying. Yes, it's truly sad! You two are really crying over this. Yes, it's sad because now you're just an empty shell that used to be our friend. What? Hmm. I may have something to help, Mr. Al well, Alex is a dude. <laughs> you have something to help Alex? Yes, I believe I do. If only I could recall where I put it. There it is. Here you go, Alex. I hope this will help you. Pills? Pills. How are pills going to help me? It's just a type of medicine that helps restore lost memories. You just have to take them before you go to bed. Thanks. What's wrong with you now? Nothing's wrong, I'm just thinking. That's all. If you say so. What's wrong with you? I was just recalling I was supposed to make something for Mr. Honeybear. I have everything for it, but I forgot to get berries. So you need us to get berries for you? Yes, but only if it's okay with both of you. I think we could get it. Of course me and Alex can get berries for you. Thank you. I believe there are some berries growing off of some bushes around somewhere. Okay, we'll be back with those berries, Rabbit. Isn't this adorable? So the berries were back here, right? Hanging on the bush. Chilling out. I am pretty sure. Just here, there we go. Here are some berries. Okay, so how many did Rabbit say we have to take? He didn't give a number. Okay, I guess we're going to take a hundred berries with us then. One hundred? Yes, one hundred. That's impossible. It's possible to get one hundred berries. It's not, they're not even a hundred berries on this bush. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. I guess we take six berries with us then. Okay, we got the berries. Let's go back to Rabbit. Okay. Alex is dealing with this remarkably well, considering... Considering, I think Alex is probably thinking, well, it's probably a dream. Or maybe I shouldn't have done that LSD tab at the nightclub the other day. It's probably that one. Oh, you two are back. We got the berries you wanted. Thank you to both of you. Now I can I make a pie, Mr. Honeybear? You... Now I can make the pie Mr. Honeybear wanted. A pie? A pie? Yes, a pie. Mr. Honeybear requested me to make him a pie. Can we have some of the pie? You mean... I don't... You mean you. I don't want any pie. Oh, then I have Alex's slice of the pie? I'm sorry, Miss Kitty, but this pie is only for Mr. Honeybear. Oh. Could you make me another one? I'm sorry, Miss Kitty. I don't have enough supplies to make another pie. Why'd you forsake me? I just want a piece of pie. You don't need to cry over pie. But... But pie tastes so delicious. I will never understand you. There, it's done. C could we eat it? Like I said before, Miss Kitty, this pie is for Mr. Honeybear. You could ask him if it would be okay if you could have some. I could? You know, it might be best if you two deliver it to him, so you could ask him. But I'm pretty busy, so I don't have time to deliver it. Alex and I would be happy to deliver it for you, Mr. Rabbit. Right, Alex? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Well, since I'm not doing anything else... Oh, it was the first time I saw you smile. How could that be the first time? You said I moved in around a few weeks before... You said I moved in around a few weeks ago before I lost my memory. What I met was the first time today. <coughs> <coughs> uh, what I meant was the first time today. You were very serious earlier today. I did not know if you were going to smile at all today. Oh. That's a bit suspicious, right? Well, here you two go. Got a pie. Mr. Honeybear's house is right from here. Also, please make sure that Miss Kitty does not eat the pie. Okay, I'll make sure she won't eat it. Hey. Let's go, Miss Kitty. We've got an important pie to deliver to Mr. Honeybear. Oh, well, how can I help you two today? We have a special delivery for you. A delivery for me? 
Yes, a delivery. We're giving you the pie you asked Rabbit to make for you. That's the wrong voice. Yes, a delivery. We asked you. We're giving you the pie you asked Rabbit to make for you. Oh, that delivery. Well, here's your pie. Thank you. Uh, you don't seem too excited for the pie. Is he okay? Uh, I think he is. Pie is nice. Pie is like a number you use in math. Pie is like a treat you eat with a glass of milk. There are many different types of pie. I wonder if pizza pie is considered a pie. Um, Honeybear, are you okay? He... He fell asleep? Yeah, he does that a lot. I see. But it's not fair. What's not fair? I didn't get a chance to ask him whether I can have some of the pie. Let's just go back. Mr. Honeybear is more than a little strange, I feel. Oh, did you two make the delivery? Yes, we did, and it seems he likes it. But he fell asleep, so we had to leave it on the table. But I did not get a chance to ask him if I could have some. Thank you, you two, for making the delivery. I won't ask you to do any more deliveries today. You don't care about my hunger, Rabbit? I'm dying. Yeah, right. I am. Since both of you seem very friendly with each other, how about you see Miss Squeaks? I think she would enjoy your company. Okay, we'll go see her. Let's go. Miss Squeaks, huh? Is that the one back here? I think, right? Oh, hi! Do you two need something? No, we don't need anything. We just came to see how you were, that's all. Oh, okay. She does not talk a lot, right? Yeah, just like you, Alex. Uh, what now? The two of you are not talking to me anymore? Her kid looks funny when she's scared! I guess she looks a little funny when she's like that. Now the two of you are making fun of me. But I don't think she's very smart at time. But I don't think she's very smart at time? What the fuck does that mean? Don't you think so, Alex? Yeah, she's not that smart. I can see Honey Bear outsmart her. Why are you talking about me when I'm right here? Well, time flies when you're having fun with someone. I can't believe we're talking for two hours. Yeah, time's gone by so fast. Well, I had a fun time talking to you. I hope we can talk again, Alex. Good night to the two of you. I guess it's night time. I'm happy you had a nice day today, Alex. Everyone seems happy you are okay. Why do I not trust them? Is it because I don't remember any of them? And they all know who I am? Why did I remember that memory when I woke up? Why don't I... remember... any... Hey, were you listening to me? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about something else. I'll just repeat myself. Make sure you take those pills before you go to bed, Alex. Also, good night. This is gonna be fucked up, I'm assuming. I mean, it had a warning at the start. It probably isn't that fucked up. Like, not a lot of Shakespeare these days, but we'll see. Should I actually trust what they're telling me? The animals that can talk. This has all been a dream or a weird prank. This is just a weird dream I'm having. This is a dream. Should I listen to them and take this? Should I buy what they're telling me? Should I take this? I mean, why not? It'll make things interesting, right? Rabbit said this would help me recover my memory. They are very kind. So I don't think they want to harm me. But I guess it does not hurt to try. I don't know what I was worried about. There was nothing for me to worry about because there was nothing wrong. Everyone here is nice, kind and friendly. So why was I so worried? 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 Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Why was I so worried? This place is wonderful. Like a dream. A dream he would never want to leave. So why was I worried? About this wonderful place. Normal ending, stuck in a wonderland. Okay, so we don't take the pills. Let's try that again, and I'll skip to the end and we'll not take the pill. Alright guys, it is now the night time again, and uh, we're going to get to the pit where we take the pill. We're not going to take the pill. 
I'm not gonna take this. Even if they say they know me, I still don't believe them. Well, I should go to bed. I should go and see Kitty before I do anything else. So those tablets are obviously really fucking bad, so we definitely shouldn't take them in the future. Good morning, Alex. Morning. Are you okay? Did you sleep okay? I'm fine, I slept okay. Please don't worry. Oh, that's good. For a second I thought you were not feeling okay. Oh, sorry for worrying you. Why do I not trust them? Is it because they're animals that can talk? Is it because I don't remember anything about them? Why does my head hurt? Is it because I'm thinking too much about this? Hey Alex, are you okay? You've been quiet for a while. Why does it hurt so much? Alex, are you... Okay? Um... What the fuck is going on? What? What's wrong? Why do you look like that? Do you see a ghost or something? Where am I? Who are you? What have you done to me? What are you planning to do? Just sleep for a little bit. Okay? Everything will be fine. So just take a little rest. Where am I now? God, my head still hurts. Could it be from the smell of this room? Huh, they didn't do a good job tying me up. Let's waste my time here. The smell itself is killing me. Oh, Jesus Christ, where the fuck are we now? I realised you could save, which I didn't know, so I'm dropping a save here. An old broken table that seems to have been used a lot. This table's been in the hardcore war, but lost to the chair nation. Okay. This place seems very different. Was it just an illusion? These burrows seem to hold toxic poisons. I don't think they're safe to eat. Oh, fuck me. Door's locked, okay. That door is also locked. Oh, God. I don't want to go in there right now, so we have to go in here. Ah, oh, Alex, you're awake. Did you sleep okay? You're serious. Does it seem like I'm okay? I'm stuck here with you psycho people. Why the heck am I here? I guess you did not sleep well. How the heck does it have to deal with sleep? I want to get out of this place. Also, find the reason why I t You're very talkative, aren't you? But what they did to you was not a lot, Mr. Alex. All they did was drug you. They could have done much worse things than that. <laughs> you should be grateful you're still alive. Grateful? But crying out loud, why should I be happy? Mr. Alex, maybe I didn't explain it the right way. She could have killed you. Experimented on. Tortured. The list goes on, my dear friend. So you should be happy that she only got drugged. What? what There's no need to cry, Mr. Alex. Because I'm here to help you. Help? Yes, help. I'm the type of person who wishes to help others. Yeah, right, there's something to get my hopes up. If you think it's the joke, you are mistaken. I'm an honest man who never lies when making a promise. Plus, does this look like I'm joking? Okay, but how can I trust you? You might want to see me fail. If I wanted to see you fail or die, I would have listened to her orders and tied you up tightly. But I left it untied intentionally so you could escape. Now, Mr. Alex, would you finally listen to me? Fine. Thank you, Mr. Alex. The clinic has an exit which leads outside. An exit? But... But... Stella is guarding at the clinic. Stella? Is she the girl with the braided hair? Yes, and she's on the way where you have to go. If she sees you, she might kill you or take you back to the house. So it's best for you, Mr. Alex, to not go next to her. Can't you ask her to move? I can't do that because I was ordered to stay in here until called upon. Huh. So how am I going to leave this place? I know someone you could ask. And who may that be? You can ask Mr. Elliot. M Mr. who? Mr. Elliot to the right of my shop. Luckily, he's not hostile compared to the others, but... But what? He can be a tad bit off sometimes. He's very compliant. Guess I have no other choice. I'll go to him. This is going to get fucked up, isn't it? I just got a horrible feeling this is going to get really fucked up. Um, excuse me, you're Mr. Elliot, right? Her aunt. Where is it? Huh? My beloved's hand. Where is it? 
He's somewhere around here. You'll find her hand. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll find her hand. Thank you. Please bring her, um, back her hand. Don't bring back anything but her hand if you don't want any problems. But you can look at her so you would know what hand to get for my beloved. Okay. Okay, so I'll go back to Mr. Rabbit and these dialogue options are there. Do you need anything, Mr. Alex? Are you looking for the hand for Elliot's doll? It's in Stella's house. Her house is locked up, so how can I get in? Don't worry, Mr. Alex, have this. Mouse key. A, a mouse key? This will come in handy. Mr. Alex, please trust me, this item will help you. Thanks. Okay, so. The door is unlocked. Great. A box lays on the floor. Look inside. There's hands inside the box. Wait. It's just fake hands. Let's find the one I need to give to Elliot. Uh, so... I've got a save point, so if I die, I die. Let's see what happens when I give Mr. Elliot the uh, hand. Did you find- did you find my beloved's hand? Thank you for finding her hand. I'm truly grateful for what you did. Did you mean to do anything for you? If it's not that much, could you move Stella away from the clinic? I can gladly do that for you. Well, I must be going. I wish you the best of luck, Alex. Alright, so Stella is now going to be out of the way. And I could presumably just leave, hopefully? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Let's have a look. She's gone. I'm closer to escaping this place. Just a little more. Then I'll be able to leave. And get to see my parents, Amy, Zoe, Lily, Grey, and Butterscotch again. Okay, Butterscotch is his sister. Here I go. It's more peaceful in here than the rest of the village. This is weird. Although I'm not too keen on the pictures on the back wall, like... Pretty disturbing, those slide ones, I guess. The door seems to be locked. Why is there blood by this door? Hmm. I mean, this is a surgery, right? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do... Please don't make me do it. Do what? Please don't make me do it. I'm sorry for scaring you. It's okay. It's not your fault, it's mine. Are you okay? Why are you crying so much? I'm okay now. Glad to hear it. Wait, question. Are you like the others? The others? Never mind, forget that. Oh, do you know the way to get out of here? It's the right hallway. But, keys need and I don't have it. Oh, thanks for telling me that. I'm James. You are? I'm Alex. It's nice to meet you, Alex. It's nice to meet you too, James. If you need anything, please just ask me. Alex, James sort of just doubled in size there. That's quite disturbing. Really little weird little game, this, right? Like, I don't really know what to make of it. Animal plushies. Anything interesting in here that could be of use? Medical shit. I mean, we're going to have to go this way. It's locked and he doesn't have the key, but there's nowhere else to fucking go, so... What am I missing? Does he know where the key might be? I'm not really sure where it is. You can ask Adam, he's kind of helpful. But I don't trust him too much. I'm sorry I was not helpful. No, you were helpful. He sure does cry a lot. The fuck is Adam? Is Adam and the rabbit? I can't fucking remember. Like, they all changed their names and I'm really confused. I mean, he's the only person who's helping me, so... Where's the key to leave? Oh, that. Well, Chloe took it and hid it. So it has to be in a house. I'm 99.999% sure it's there. But there's a zero... Whatever. It means you're pretty much screwed the fuck up. But since you're pretty much done with this journey, I want to give you two little gifts. Here you go. Cat key. A knife. I do hope you can find some use in these items. Cat key and a knife, huh? 
guessing the knife's going to be used for bad shit. Alright, let's go and unlock the cat house. Small book labeled My Little World lays on the table. Care to read, Sam? I just saved. There was once a little girl who was born in a rich home with only her father. The little girl loved her father very much. But her father never paid too much attention to her because he had hard work all the time. The little girl never understood why her father worked all the time. The little girl only wanted her father to play with her. But he always worked. The little girl said to herself, Why does Papa work all the time when he has all of Mummy's money? The rest of the book is blank. Oh. You found the key. I should go back to James and tell him I found the key. Why should I tell James I found the key? I mean, it's probably going to trigger something really disturbing, so it's probably worth it, but still. Fuck James, let's just leave. I mean, that's my thoughts here. Right, James, I'm going to trust you on this. Did you find the key? Yes, I did, so we could go. Wait, I could come too? Yeah, I don't mind at all. You seem like you want to leave, so let's go. Thank you for helping someone like me. No problem. Could you please stop crying? Okay. Don't entirely trust him. Probably gonna have to stab him with a knife. Probably in the vagina, I'm gonna guess. Okay, James. Oh, it's the big exit here. So this is it! Are you ready to go, James? Yes, I am. Didn't I tell you to stop crying? Sorry, I'm, I'm just happy. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. I can't believe it's almost over. Yeah, we have to just go through the door. And we're home free. Well, you thought you two could just leave. For fuck's sake. I'm sorry, I tried to keep her distracted, but she's found out. When Chloe finds out what you two have done, she'll punish the both of you. Punish? Yes. Punish. A punishment may not even happen. Plus, you would fall too. Oh, I didn't fall too. That means she might give me a harsh punishment. Oh, God. I'm sorry that I'm late. Oh, you almost made it. Such a cliche way to end the game, don't you think? But... But this isn't a game. This is my world, and... I make the rules on what happens in this world. And I say Alex deserves two choices. Because in life there are always two choices to pick from. The wrong choice and the... Worst choice. There's never a good choice because life is unfair. Not just to you. But to everyone. Even to me. But this is not about me. But it's about you, Alex. About two choices. The choice of joining or not. What do you choose, Alex? Huh? Join or don't join? I'm not gonna join, fuck off. I'll never do that. Do you think I'm sick or something? I'll never, never join you. Oh, this is boring. How can we make this exciting? Huh? I know. Hey, James, did you know you made me very, very, very disappointed in you? Huh? I don't love you anymore because you did something very, very bad. And if I don't love you anymore, do you think anyone else would love and care about you? No one would care about me? Yes, no one would care about you because of all the bad things you've done. But if you eat Alex, I will forgive you. And I'll love you again. What, eat me? You're crazy. I am, but it's okay to be a little crazy. Hey, hey, you're going to do it, right, James? But, but I can't. Okay, then I hate you. What? Maybe I didn't say it loud enough. I hate you. Did you get it now? Hey, James, you're not going to listen to her, right? James? Wait, stop, what the heck are you doing? What are you doing? You're not going to listen to her, right? Right? I have to. What? I have to because no one would care about me. I have to because everyone will hate me. I have to because I'm never a good person like you. James, please stop. Stop! It hurts. Please stop. 
hurt so much. Can you please just stop? Eaten alive. Interesting. Well, we just load, so I guess we have to join then. I guess we're gonna join. Fine, you win. Huh? I win? That's an interesting way to say it. But since that's the question, I still have to deal with James and Elliot. I'm being blamed for this? I'm sorry. Huh. Hey, what are you doing behind me? Hey, why are you not talking? What are you doing? Hey, get off me! Get off me! This isn't funny! You hurt, stop grabbing me like that! Why do you have that? You, you can go, just don't use that! Stop it, don't use that thing! I'm sorry, I'm sorry you can go! Please stop stabbing me! It hurts. It hurts so much. Can someone please stop him? Please. Stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please. Stop. Him. Adam. It hurts so much. Have you heard of the rumor that everyone's talking about lately? Oh, you haven't heard of it? Well, it's actually an urban legend, but some say it's a rumor, while others say it's just a myth. But it's really popular, so I'm surprised you've not heard about it. Since you've not heard of it, I'll tell you. The rumor goes that there are lunatics who target people and they kidnap them. Some say they kill you, others say they torture you and make you wish that you were dead. But the most popular version of the rumor is that they eat you. Some people believe that's why there's a lot of missing people lately. Because they eat you. Not dead, but alive. There's no reason to be scared about it, Alex. Since it's not real. Right? I'm in charge now. And if you don't agree then, you can end up like this. Useless piece of trash here. Understood? True end. A corrupted, bloody wonderland. That was really good. I really enjoyed that uh, game. Um, cute little RPG maker horror, I feel, with some interesting elements to it. Really enjoyed it. It's free on HGO. Link in the description if you want to play it yourself. There may be some endings I missed, I'm not sure. Um, I just really hope you enjoyed it. It was fucking great, actually. I, I love shit like that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you want to support me further, please consider hitting the like button, sharing the video with your friends, and leaving a comment and let me know what you thought. You can also support me further. Follow me on Twitter at, at @mangabinks to see all the latest updates and videos as they go live there. And you can also support me on Gamers, which is like Patreon, by hitting the support me link in the description. We also do Twitch live shows, me and my wife regularly, most days of the week except for Saturday. You can check that out by hitting the uh, Twitch link, watch me live link in the description too. Lots of things you can do. There's also shirts on sale if you want to wear our merch. There's a nice Crinks Family one and a bunch of other awesome shirt designs, so um, please check those out too. Anyway, have a great day guys. I hope you enjoyed Desolate Village and uh, I guess I'll be back for more videos really soon. Bye for now. Sweet dreams everyone. Bye for now. This one over here. There we go. You're doing fine. Here is your first reward. Spend the money on things you need. You'll find them at the shop. You'll receive surveillance cameras as you earn a reputation. Reputation points show your standing with the public. You receive them for completed tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade the people around you to do what you want them to do. Unfortunately, I have issues to do with this at the ministry. However, you can call me anytime from your office using your private line and ask me anything. By the way, Carl, I strongly encourage you to answer the phone. Remember, you and I serve our great people and complete in the orders of the ministry.